Hi and good morning. Welcome back to Air Medical Solutions. I'm here today to talk about another topic that's important for aviation medicine and that's asthma for our pilots. A lot of pilots ask me what is the special issuance in terms of asthma and is there different ways that we different things that we need for our specific air medical examiner and of course there is. So the first thing we need is your primary care doctor or whoever is managing your asthma to state that you're stable on your current regimen and if or not if or not, you've had changes to your medication regimen recently. If it's in the past, no big deal. If it's recent, we do want to know that. As well as if you're required to have medications or if they want any changes to your medications coming up soon. We also want to know your symptoms. Are your symptoms occurring more than two times per week? Are they happening less than that? Less, of course, is gravy, but anything more than that, we've got some issues there, maybe not controlled asthma. So are you using your rescue inhaler more than two times a week? Have you been hospitalized for your asthma recently? Have you ever been hospitalized? Of course, that's a question, you know, on your MedExpress. As well as have you um, had two or more visits to the outpatient clinic or urgent care for acute exacerbations? And then we do have acceptable medications for asthma for a special issuance. We also have one particular one that's not approved for special issuance, and that is the monoclonal antibodies. The ones that are approved for our um, special issuance from your air medical examiner are basically inhaled long-acting beta agonists, your short-acting like your albuterol, your corticosteroid um, inhalers, or even your monolucast or your leukotriene receptors that decrease the inflammation inside your body. A lot of times I'm asked about pulmonary function tests. So pulmonary function tests are required um, for specific populations of asthmatics. Pulmonary function test is not required if the only treatment that you utilize to treat your asthma is your rescue inhaler as needed. And if you use it more than two days per week, then that's another story. Then typically that means that your asthma is not under control. Now, pulmonary function tests otherwise are required within 90 days. So they have to be current before you see your air medical examiner and bring that to them. We do check a few things and don't worry, it'll be on the spirometry report that we can we can pull it off of there, but basically it's your FEV1, your force vital capacity, your FEV1 uh, FEC ratio. And what we're looking for is to make sure that those are greater than 80% predicted before your bronchodilators, okay? Now, if we reach all of those guidelines with the symptoms, with your stability, with the medication that's approved, and if or not you require a pulmonary function test, your air medical examiner can do a khaki qualified asthma.